So we're dealing with a topic called as topographic unconformity, also called as topographic discordance. These are essentially features related to rejuvenation, where landforms of different stages coexist in a landscape. Younger features are superimposed on older features. So valley within valleys, we also call these as uh, two cycle valleys. This probably was the valley of an old river because of rejuvenation. Now we have a young valley here. This is because of rejuvenation. This was the original valley and on this we have a younger valley superimposed. So the older valley is at a higher level and the younger one is at the lower level. This is an example of valley within valleys where the older valley, this is the older valley, the older valley at a higher level. Now we have a younger valley which is at the lower level. Okay, valley within valleys and examples of this also includes entrenched valley valleys, incised valleys. These features will also include river terraces. So all of this we have discussed as a part of the earlier discussion. One. Number two, now this is looking at the same river at the same, at the same location. Now imagine this is the thalwick of a river. Now in this, this is the older river and this is the mature river. Now, when we have rejuvenation, it's possible that there is some nick point here. So there is some cutting here, nick point here, and this is the base level. In this case, if you compare this case, at the same location, you have an older feature above and you have a younger feature below. But if I'm comparing across Thalvig, this is the older feature and Further above in the height, okay, this is the younger feature and this is the nick point. Okay, so youthful feature. So I can talk about topographies of in, uh, discordance in these two ways. So basically, the, the challenge here is to understand two, two things. Uh, there are two ways of understanding topographies of discordance. One is I have an older feature and inside the older feature, okay, at a lower level, we have a younger feature. Ye young feature hai or ye old feature. This is at the uh, same location and we are comparing the transverse cross section. Then I'm saying you compare this along the thalvik. This is along the longitudinal profile and the thalvig. So this is senile, this is senile, this had to be mature. Now what I have is, because of erosion, rejuvenation, there is a nick point developing here. And this nick point is a youthful feature, which is above, which is above the senile landscape. Can you open up your page, page 305, second column here. The typical landforms resulting from interruptions of fluvial cycle, okay, of erosion, from rejuvenation, resulting in formation of mosaic of poly or multi-cyclic landforms that include topographic discordance, valley in valley, or multi storied valleys, and so on. Topographic discordance refer to creation of older topographic forms above and younger forms will below. The way I have explained this. Okay, and then you take discussion towards this also. You can compare the features also along the Thalve in a version of relief. You can add this in the last part of discordance. This is this is okay. What this this happens when when the synclines they become the ridges and the anticlines, these become the valley. So this is the original landscape where the anticlines are ridges 
anticline are ridges the syncline beds are the valleys the syncline beds are the valleys ye original feature hai but because of erosion along the crest line here because of erosion along the crest line this part goes down this part goes down and this part stays above so inversion of relief is a bit different in inversion the syncline floor becomes the ridges the syncline becomes the elevation otherwise generally kya hota hai what we have otherwise generally what we have is generally the syncline's are the valleys syncline's are the downturns and the anticline's these are the ridges these are the upfolds this is what happens generally in inversion this reverses rather than syncline remaining the valley syncline now becomes ridges rather than anticline remaining the ridges the anticline become the valleys so in inversion what happens is the syncline becomes the ridge and the anticline becomes the valleys so the typical structural detailing of this will look like will look like something like this where this is the syncline bed this is the syncline bed this also is the syncline beds this is what is in general and this is what is happening in inversion so it is not same as discordance but when you when you organize your answer say this is a question on discuss features of topographic discordance you know start by defining and explaining then you give what are the types valley within valley entrenched valleys incised meanders and nick points and nick point waterfalls then you illustrate using diagrams give examples and finally could add a paragraph on topographic inversion or inversion of relief right two lines here and then you can conclude the answer by saying that topographic discordance inversion of relief these add complexities in studying landforms it is difficult to generalize such diversity in a single model to explain these features davis use the concept of a second cycle of erosion so somewhere on the conceptual side you are using terms from geomorphology you use terms from davis and you finish the answer if you want to look up something on inversion of relief you can look up page number 178